Hi guys, it is Mrs. Parker and today I'm going to show you how to clean your trombone. So step one, take your trombone apart and put it in the bath. Right here I'm showing you my snake we're going to use in a little bit. You should have gotten one of those in your cleaning kit. Alright, so I got, oh there's our cat. <laughs> well, I've got my mouthpiece, my slide, and my bell. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my tuning slides. Now I have two because I have an F attachment trombone, but I know you guys will have a beginner trombone just like I did. So you only have one tuning slide to take out, that big one, just like mine. So what you want to do is just be very careful, pull it straight out, and you're good to go. Now we're going to take this bell and go ahead and put it into the bathtub. And I'm going to start to run some water. I am checking the temperature of this water to make sure it is lukewarm. You don't want it too hot or too cold. You want it about the temperature you'd feel comfortable putting a baby into. I'm also going to throw my two tuning slides in that water. And my mouthpiece, which I didn't show. Um, so now it is slide time, guys. So as Mr. Parker pans out here, you are going to notice my bell in the bath water and here I am with my slide and I'm trying to show you it's still together keep your slide together because we're gonna clean the inside of the inner slide first and you want to do this with your slide together so I'm just putting it a little about halfway full with some lukewarm water and I'm gonna take some dish soap from our kitchen and I'm gonna put one to two drops in one side and one to two drops in the other just a little Put that to the side. All right, time to use our snake, which you should have gotten in your cleaning kit. And we are gonna take it and push it all the way down one side until it stops on its own. When it does, you're gonna see I'm pulling it out, but I'm scrubbing up and down to try and get that gunk out of there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Push it down until it stops. And then I'm going to scrub while I pull it out, up and down motions. Clean that guy out. Alright, so now that we've scrubbed it out, we're going to take it and dump it into the tub. You're going to see some pretty gross stuff come out of there probably. Um, it just depends on how often you clean your horn. I would suggest for you guys as beginners, try and clean it once a month. It's just good hygiene. Go ahead and give it a bath. Um, so now you're going to see me put water into it and dump it out a few times. I just want to make sure there's absolutely no bubbles. Um, you don't want any soap left in there. So while I'm doing that, I am going to tell you, I did not show you how to clean the inner slide once it comes out. So once I disassemble it, you're going to see what I mean. The inner slide is silver. Um, in order to wash that, you just want to take some soap, put it on there, and scrub it with your hand and get all the soap off. Just make sure it's clean. Alright, and if you look on the floor, I did lay down a towel folded in half, and I lean the slide up against the wall onto the towel. Um, that's how all that water drains down into the towel. It's a great way to get it dry. And now I'm just going to follow the same steps with the outer slide. Lukewarm water halfway, a little dish soap in each side, and I'm going to scrub it. All right, so we've scrubbed it out again, and now we're going to take that warm soapy water from in there, dump it into our tub, and make sure all that soapy water is out of there by refilling it with water, dumping it back out a couple times, make sure all the bubbles are gone, and then it will be time to lay it up against the wall with the other one. Oh, hello, Peter. No, that's not yours. Um, so look, my slide is upside down and I lean it up against the wall that way. 
That way the water drips down onto the towel. Yet again, use gravity. Let it dry your slide for you. No, Pete. No, Peter. <laughs> Okay, so now, if you look past Peter over where the faucet is, I'm actually going to clean our tuning slides. Um, so all I do here, same thing as the, the normal slides, I just put a little dish soap in there, grab my snake, go down one side until it stops, and then scrub it as I pull it out. Same thing with the other side. Um, it is a smaller slide, so it's going to be a little different, um, but it, you'll still be able to get the brush in there, no problem. And then I'm gonna rinse it out until there's no bubbles. Alright guys, now that I'm done rinsing it, you're gonna see me take that dish soap and put it on the slide where we put the grease, the dirty side. I'm just gonna scrub that off with my hand. It's about to be washed off anyways. Um, and once I've scrubbed it down, lukewarm water, wash it off, make sure there's no bubbles. Alright guys, so at this point you should be taking your bell out and everything and the last thing we actually have to wash is our mouthpiece. Now I actually clean my mouthpiece every day after I play just because it touches my mouth. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it right here. I do not have a mouthpiece brush with me because my husband lost ours. So, um, but, so I'm just going to use my snake for it right now, but you want to use the mouthpiece brush. You're just going to scrub in and scrub the bowl out probably gonna know some gunk come out of there. Rinse it out with water, no bubbles, and then place it on the drying mat. All right guys, we've washed everything out, everything's all clean, so now all that's left is to dry it, put it back together. So I'm gonna dry my mouthpiece first, and then I'm going to dry our tuning slide. So you guys, like I said, will only have the one tuning slide, Dry it off, make sure all that gunk's off there with the towel. And then we actually need to grease it to put it back in our horn. So here's the little um, tuning slide grease I have in the pot. Just gonna put some on your finger. And it's gonna remind you of the consistency of chapstick. Um, and you're just going to smooth it over your slide. Um, just enough to really smooth it over. You don't want too much. Just enough so it'll move well. I'm going to pick up my bell and show you where I'm putting it. So, as you can see, I've got a big side, and that's going to go on the big side. <laughs> and then, oh, hello, Peter. And then I also have a smaller side, and that's where the smaller slide goes. Um, I actually need to put some grease on that as well. You're going to notice that's where the grease goes on there. You can see I'm just smoothing a little on. And I personally like to work in the grease on one side and then the grease on the other side. So you can see I'm putting it in there and wiggling it around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Parker had a little low. And I'm just scrubbing it in, working it into one side and pulling it back out. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the small side. I'm going to fit it on, work it in, and then pull it back. And now I'm going to line it up gently and push it straight down. If for any reason it doesn't slide down normally, it might not be aligned. Be gentle with it. It should slide in as long as it's aligned. All right, and that would be your main slide. And so now it's slide time. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to take the outer slide, flip her over, and dry her off a little bit. Alright, so I've also dried my inner slide, and I am going to show you right there is the lock. The lock lines up with the lock on the other slide, so you want to make sure you put the right side of the slide into the right other side of the slide. So the lock and the lock mechanism should line up. Alright, so now let's oil it. I use slider mix. Uh, my slider mix has two bottles. I've got that big fat bottle I showed you. And then this little tiny bottle. This is the best, okay? The little tiny bottle you want to use first, and you're going to go down to the stocking on your slide. The stocking, you can see me pointing at it, has a little line, and you can see it's a little fatter than the rest of the slide. 
It's a little line there if you can see it. And I'm just going to do a couple little drops, not too much. Put that little bottle away and then I'm actually going to take my slide put it up in the air upside down and work that grease in. That's because I'm using gravity here. I want that extra oil to slide back down my slide where I can use it, not into the outer slide where it won't really get used. And then I'm going to grab the big bottle and put it all over the slide above the stocking, just like a hot dog. Now mine's a little watery. Yours might be a different consistency. You just want to work it on there. And then the same thing. Take your slide, Tip it up and then work it in using gravity to put that oil where you want it all over the slide. Now Slido Mix works with a spray bottle. You're going to want to get a spray bottle, a tiny one with some water in it um, and spray it on there after you put on the oil because your slide actually glides over water beads. So there's my little bottle. And that is it guys. You have got a clean trombone. Great job.